Hey everyone, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I am back at the bivouac and uh, it's raining a little bit, but that's okay. I've uh, been here for a little bit. I've uh, harvested this wood. This is one tree and uh, I had to get it from quite a far away, but uh, it's fairly big. That should be a, a good amount of uh, firewood for me, I think. Yeah, I got the uh, SKS today. No sign of any wildlife other than birds are chirping all over the place. While I was uh, picking up the wood, I found these guys right here. These nice flat rocks. So I think I'm going to make a, um, a permanent frying pan type situation for the, uh, for the fire pit. So I'm going to build that, I think, today. And I don't know if I'm going to process too much wood today. I, that was a lot of work to get this here, so I'll probably just buck a few pieces so I can have a fire and then leave these here to dry until the next time I'm here. But I think our main project today is see if we can get an oven going. Or maybe, a, yeah, an oven and a frying pan sort of thing. Like that. Okay, so this is what I came up with. <clears throat> so I got a frying pan situation here. So I can fry eggs or steak or whatever. And then a warming plate up here. And I just use those metal um, brackets that I normally use for the fire. I'll just grab a couple more when I get home. And uh, so this way I can cook, say, some bacon, some bacon, put it up here to keep warm, and then cook my eggs and kind of go from there. And I can put the ashes down here. Be a, be a perfect little stove situation. I think that'll work out pretty good. What do you guys think? Turned out pretty good. I, uh, I put the fat wood on and then I put the, um, the small sticks and uh, it went really well but I had to blow on it uh, a little bit um, to get the sticks going. The sticks are they're pretty damp so uh, that's why the, uh, the camera went off there for a second. Um, I needed to get where the camera was and I just turned it off. So, um, But yeah, I needed to blow on it. It didn't, uh, it didn't start right away. I, I could have put more fat wood. I could have scraped for another 20 seconds maybe and um i would have gotten a huge pile of fat wood and that probably would have made the difference but whatever right who cares it's <laughs> low on it right that's a pretty good fire i'm burning off all the branches from the uh the logs so that should keep me in firewood for the rest of the day and then uh maybe another day i'll start chopping them up uh, yeah, pretty nice fire. All started with fatwood. So I think for lunch, I'm going to have some fiddleheads. 
They're only around for a little bit, so I might as well take advantage of them. And these are them here. These are our ferns, and these here are our fiddleheads. So, we will harvest some of these. Now when it comes to these ferns, you want to make sure you don't eat the actual older leaves, like these guys, because there is a carcinogenic property to them, and uh, if you eat enough of them, that could cause a problem. So the, uh, the natives used to eat these ferns and didn't realize that years down the road they were going to get a a disease called cancer because they didn't associate the um, ferns of course with any kind of poison but now we know that you can get cancer or it's carcinogenic to a point I think people in uh, in Asia still eat these anyway, even though they are aware that it is a carcinogen. I think it's one of their main staples, and uh, they just eat it anyway. I believe. We'll grab one more bunch, and then I think that'll be plenty. Here's a bunch here. It doesn't take much to harvest these, and you can get a whole bunch of them. One of the first things that are coming out, the uh, stinging nettles all coming out as well. I mean, you could very easily grab a whole bunch of these leaves and uh, make a meal of it. A little more labor intensive, but man, it's a bit of a raining out here. I'm gonna cover up the old gold push. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Hang on here. They're on. So I thought that um, that grill, what if I put the, um, the metal grill on there as well? I have that on there and I can slow cook stuff up here and then put it over here. And then when I want to do the frying pan thing, I can just take this off and use the rock on the bottom. I think that'll work pretty good. What do you guys think I should cook on there first? I'm thinking bannock. Actually, I have bannock with me, I think. I'm going to check. I think I've had bannock. If I have bannock, I'm going to try making it. Give it a shot. Okay, these have been boiling for quite a bit here. We are good to go. Take that off there.
little bit of salt. Those are really good. Yeah. Hmm. Very tasty. Hmm. <clears throat> Get some cedar tea going. You guys see how handy it is to have a kettle, eh? So really handy to have the, the amount of pots that I have. Just can do pretty much whatever I want. They don't weigh that much. Use my pack weighs hardly anything. And I got everything. I got everything in there. Alright. Let's get this sucker on the fire. <clears throat> oh, I should probably put some wood on there, eh? Soon I'll have some cedar tea. Can't wait. Okay, turns out I have some bannock. So I've made it. I got the ball here, nice and soft. And now I'm gonna get the embers, get them behind the rock there. <clears throat> and let's see if we can get this hot enough that we can cook. What do you guys figure about 15 minutes 20 minutes I guess we can bring the whole fire closer help it along a little bit all right I'm figuring 15 20 minutes and I'll um, I'll try it out and uh, can have big bannock how cool is that Well, that's turning out pretty good, isn't it? Next time, uh, I'll bring some oil. And uh, that'll be perfect. Uh, the cedar tea is ready. And it's steeping away. So I should be able to have some cedar tea and bannock in no time. Bannock's pretty much done. Looks like it's good to go. That rock's getting nice and hot. I should have left, I should have waited a little longer um, to get the, the rock hotter, for sure. But... Um, I know it's turning out really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Nice green color. Some season salt. And, hang on guys, sorry, I'm going to shake you around here. i got to turn this thing, and it's not turning easily here, so. There we go, sorry about that. And some garlic powder.
Mm. Very good. Mm. Very hot, but very good. All right. Hmm. So an interesting thing, <clears throat> I'm having my cedar tea and I put the kettle on the rock just to keep it warm. And it's hot enough that it's actually boiling it. So the rock, it's hot enough to boil water. That's pretty incredible. Now I've, been, I've had this fire going out for a couple hours. Um, but that's good to know. That's, that means you can pretty much cook anything on that rock once it's hot enough. Um, the bannock took a little while because I didn't wait long enough, but I bet you if I did it again on this rock, it would cook in no time at all. The, um, the pine is nice and, uh, nice and dry. It's burning really well. I'm going to uh, finish this off, I think, and then I think I'll call it a day. Probably another hour, maybe two hours, and that'll be that, I think. It's been a really good day. Um, I really enjoyed the uh, fiddleheads, the bannock, and the, uh, the cedar tea. It's been great. Um, all of the vegetation is starting to grow around here again. It's pretty nice. So it's, uh, next time I come up here, there's going to be uh, all sorts of new vegetation. So I'm going to call it a day with you guys. I'm going to sit here and do some relaxing. And um, I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. And um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, if you've already um, subbed, please uh, tell everybody about the channel and get them to sub too. And then uh, share and like. You guys have a great day.